My name is Marcus Jackson. I'm a sports writer at the, at the News Gazette. I think you know, what we do is we, we take really serious um, you know, getting things factual and, um, and using um, our resources such as the, the coaches and the players and, and, and the different people at the university. But when it comes to college athletics and at, at the high school level, the same thing with the, the coaches and the athletes down there and the people who are involved with those programs who know what's going on and, and we would like to give informed um, analysis of, what, of what's going on and um, you know, the stories and different backgrounds and that. And I think a lot of what we do is, is source-based, whereas you know, some of the blogs and stuff on the internet, it's more opinionated and just kind of you know, what people um, you know, think the, the people want to read about or just kind of what they're feeling themselves. It's, it's all about building relationships. I think it's kind of with anything in life. You just get to know people, um, you know, you get them comfortable with you, you get comfortable with them and just kind of build a rapport over time. and. Um, then you, you kind of get to know what kind of person you're dealing with and, and whether or not you can trust them. And a lot of times you just kind of you know, talk to people, have just general uh, casual conversations and then um, don't necessarily use what they tell you, but just kind of find out if some of the things they were saying were, were right. And then, then you know down the road that you know, maybe this person you know, knows what they're talking about, they're pretty credible. And, and if it comes to it, if you need to use them for something down the road, then you definitely can. I think you know since I've been here, the most challenging thing that I've gone through, and I think we kind of went through this as a staff. It was it was the coaching changes back in, in the uh, in the spring when when the men's basketball coach at the University of Illinois was fired and the women's coach were fired within a week of one another, um, and and just like we talked about, you know. There's so many different uh, outlets out there now. The social networking has really taken over, and there's so much rumor and innuendo out there. And we didn't want to be a part of that. We wanted to have it really be a fact-based deal. And, and when you're kind of when you're hearing these different things, where people with anybody has a voice now, when you see things pop up on Twitter, where they're talking to so and so, or so and so's here, this is what's happening. Then you have to sift through all that stuff and find out what's real. It's you know, it's 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 kind of just being around those guys you know we're around the athletes that we cover so much that you you're, you know things about them you have conversations with them just about who they are and, and about life and just kind of just know what's going on with within their team you know um, kind of follow what's going on with the games and the results and, and things of that nature and then if, if you know what's going on uh, on a day-to-day -day basis with them then you're really kind of prepared just going in you can just go in and talk to them kind of like you normally would talk to anybody so you do come in with an idea of what you want to talk about but then you just kind of build off of what you, what you're talking about while you're there with that person I just make sure everything that, that I do is, is accurate, is, is truthful, and, and I think that's the, the most important thing. I think that's what the readers want most. They, they want an honest um, you know, analysis of what's going on with, uh, for me in sports with their teams or their athletes or, or their programs. So I just think as long as you tell the truth and everything that you have is, is, is fact-based and, and accurate, then I think uh, that, that's all the integrity that speaks for itself there.